Hey there guys, this is Cole. Welcome back to another uh, video. Uh, I'm doing something a little different today. I have done this type of video before, but it has been quite a while since I last made this type of video. Uh, last year, last year I did a video on my own idea for a, uh, for a Wolfman movie, a new Wolfman movie. Well, Recently, uh, a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie was announced, and this one's going to be directed by James Wan, who directed movies like the first Saw movie, uh, the, the Conjuring 1 and 2, Insidious 1 and 2, Death Sentence, Malignant, uh, Aquaman, and Fast and Furious 7, or Furious 7. So, so yeah, that was announced, but... Uh, so I kind of thought, I kind of was like toying with the idea of like, what would be a cool idea for a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie? And I'm honestly, honestly, and honestly, like, honestly, I am honestly, I am honestly quite, I am honestly quite surprised that we have never had a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie because because the because uh now for those of you who are not familiar with creature from the black lagoon uh it was a universal classic monster movie released in nine uh, released in 1954 directed by Jack Arnold who would eventually go on to direct uh Tarantula but essentially what creature from the black lagoon is it's a classic universal monster movie from 1954 about these two people named David and Amy who they're they're these two got it's basically a movie about a group of scientists that go to this lake called the Black Lagoon and uh or the lagoon and then there's this half human half fish creature trying to hunt down uh, the group of scientists one by one basically so yeah and and to many people now to many people creature from the Black Lagoon uh, that was con by like most people would tell you that of the classic Universal monster movies that of the old school classic ones, a lot of people would tell you that the la that the last really good creature from the Black Lagoon movie that that like the last really good Universal classic monster movie is the original creature from the Black Lagoon, and they did do two sequels to the movie. And uh, the creature, Gilman, he did appear in the movie The Monster Squad in 1987. But other than that, he hasn't been used in any other format. And it has been 68 years since the last official movie in the series came out. So he's definitely long overdue for a new movie. And look, do not get me wrong. I like Frankenstein, I like Frankenstein and Dracula. I like them as much as the next person, but... I think we should take a break from Dracula and Frankenstein movies because those characters have been done to death with several movies. So it's time for a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie. And uh, th there was an attempt to make a new movie in the 1980s. Like, like uh, I, I know now, I know back in the 1980s, there was an attempt to get a creature from the Black Lagoon movie off the ground and... Uh, and back in the 1980s, Richard Donner, of all people, was going to direct it. Now, if you're if you're not familiar with Richard Donner's work, Richard Donner's work, uh, he directed the Lethal Weapon movies. Uh, he directed the Goonies. He directed the Omen, the, the original movie from the 70s, and he and he also directed Superman the movie with Christopher Reeve from 1978. But his version fell through. And then I know back in like the 80s, there was a canceled. Uh, Another canceled movie of it from the director of the original movie, and uh, especially in the 1990s, uh, the most famous attempt. Uh, there was a canceled creature from the Black Lagoon movie in the 1990s that it was going to be directed by John Carpenter, who, if you're not familiar with him, he directed the 1978 Halloween movie. He directed the the thing, the 1982 movie, The Thing with Kurt Russell. He direct he directed Escape from New York. He directed uh They Live, you know, movies of that sort, Christine, you know, etc. But his version fell through too. So and and then like there was a script for one in the 2000s that was like written by James Gunn who directed uh The Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, but his version fell through, but 
Yeah, I think I've rambled on long enough, so let's get into my idea for a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie. All right. So, my idea for a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie, I would, uh, instead of making this movie take place in the 1980s because it's so overdone with movies nowadays, I would do something a little different with this movie. I would act, I would actually have this movie take place in the late, I would have this movie take place in the 1960s. And I know what some of you are thinking, why a movie set in the 1960s? Well, I got a few good reasons for that, and we're going to discuss what they are. And I kind of thought my idea for this is like, have it be like an action type of horror movie. And what do I mean by that? Well, so my idea for this movie, uh, now, uh, our main now of uh, the main care of uh, the main characters of the movie would be Dennis Martin and his family members. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Who is Dennis Martin? Well, this is actually based on an unsolved mystery. But uh, so for those of you who do not know the story of Dennis Martin, uh, so for those of you who do not know the story of Dennis Martin, uh, OK, here it is on June 14th of on June 14th of 1969, six-year-old Dennis Lloyd Martin disappeared. Uh, so, so the story is, is that six-year-old Dennis Lloyd Martin disappeared at, disappeared at the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee at the age of six years old, uh, which was about 55 years ago, and he has still not been located to this day. So, so basically, the cause of his disappearance is still unsolved, and it actually did become the biggest, it became the biggest search party in history for a missing person at a national park with over 1,400 searchers in a 56 uh, square mile radius. So yeah, uh, my idea for this creature from the Black Lagoon movie is that I would have, uh, instead of the Black Lagoon being by like Florida, which it was in the original movie... I would actually have a twist of a story that the Black Lagoon Lake is actually that the Black Lagoon Lake itself is actually that the Lagoon Lake itself is actually connect is actually connected to the part that goes to the Great Smoky Mountains, which is where Dennis Martin disappeared. And when Dennis Martin dis uh, and, and I'm stating the facts, uh, I'm stating uh, facts here. So, like I said, Dennis Martin, he was this six year old boy who disappeared on June 14th of 1969 and his disappearance still to this day is and you know, still remains one of the most famous unsolved mysteries of all time. So so yes, I would take that approach from the movie and my twist to the movie is that guess what? The creature from the Black Lagoon is at uh, so for this movie sort of, so the idea I have for this movie is that the creature from the Black Lagoon itself is responsible for the disappearance of Dennis Martin. And the movie would cover the fact that the National Park Rangers, they're trying to scan the area and stuff like that. And this would take, this would be like a few days later, uh, you know, just as soon as they start to give up hope, uh, they would hear, uh, they would hear a human scream and like for help. And it's, it sounds exactly like Dennis Martin's scream. And then some national park rangers go over, and then the creature comes out of nowhere and base uh, in, with camouflage and basically kill these guys. And uh, and now how I now so yes, the creature would be able to mimic human voices. And how I got that idea, so, so my idea essentially is that I I would take I would take elements from the 2016 sci-fi horror book Parasite where. In that book, the creature can mimic a human's voice. So I would take that element from the book Parasite and incorporate it into this movie. So basically, the creature from the Black Lagoon would be able to mimic human voices and stuff like that. And then, uh, to, uh, and then you know, uh, our main character, Dwight McCarter, who in, in real life, in now in, in real life, Dwight McCarter, he's a guy who specializes in looking for missing kids and... Uh, he would be our main protagonist of the movie, and eventually he would find out that this creature was responsible for uh, for the disappearance of Dennis, and that and that this creature is basically trying to evade, you know, the authorities and stuff like that, national park rangers, and 
this creature, it, it is slowly picking off these guards one by one and stuff like that. And, and as the movie goes on and stuff like that, like it, it becomes a survive. It, it becomes like a movie, like survival of the fittest where it has to be like a few people, a few survivors left. And this creature is absolutely smart. Like it can mimic a human voice. It can, it can cause reflections and, you know, play tricks on like people's eyes and like, you know, and, you know, and there would even, yeah. So yeah, I would incorporate elements like that into it where it can mimic a human's voice and stuff like that. And, you know, basically, uh, and I would have it that the creature from the Black Lagoon kills a bunch of the uh, National Park Rangers and then the mother and uh, and the father of like, you know, you know, the kids, you know, Dennis Martins, you know, siblings would be, you know, would be warning them to get to safety and stuff like that. And the mother and the father would be trying to attack the creature, you know, shooting at it with, you know, shotgun rounds and stuff like that. But I would have the cre I would have the creature be extremely fast, like, like in, like a cheetah level type of fast, where you get, the, where you, where you get the. I would have the creature be as fast as a cheetah, or even faster than that, because you really need that sense of dread, like oh, like oh crap, we could actually die from this if we're not careful, like. You need that sense of dread for this type of movie, and then the the finale of and then the finale of the movie would end where ninety five percent of the where ninety eight percent of the park rangers have been you know massacred by this creature, and the only few survivors left are these the guy who specializes in looking for missing kids, Dwight Carter, and you know Dennis Martin's family. And then we get an awesome part at the end of, the, and then we get an awesome part at the end of the movie where Dwight McCarter, where eventually you know the Dennis Martin's family, they know that the creature killed their son, and the mother, and the mother, and you know the dad and the mother, like so basically I would have it that the creature would kill you know the would kill the dad's wife, you know, and of course you know the son Dennis Martin. And then, and then this like absolutely enrages the dad, and the dad wants this creature dead for the because the creature is responsible for the death of his family, he, which the dad and Dwight McCarter are the only two survivors left. And then Dwight McCarter eventually gets up to the creature, and then he shoves a grenade down its throat, kicks it off to the side, jumps and ducks, and then the, an explosion happened. And I would have the explosion be done with all practical effects. And then the movie ends with the dad walking home, you know, and then going home to relax at his house. So, yeah, that's what my so, yeah, that was my idea for a new creature from the Black Lagoon movie. Uh, I want to hear what you guys think of my pitch. And now as for who I would get to direct this movie, uh, uh, my choice to direct this movie would be Julius Avery. Uh, he was the director of the 2018 zombie World War Two action horror movie Overlord. So, yeah. That was my idea for a new creature movie, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.